Okay, so in this video, pay attention because this is a common question that Big D will ask me and I will show you how to properly replace a splinter guard on your guide rail the way I've been showing people for about 15 years. <laughs> oh, all right, so, so quick question. What? When should I replace my splinter guard? Okay, so that's a common question and I'll always ask a question on that is, are you satisfied with the quality of cut? Yes. Okay, so you don't need to replace it. Okay. But let me show you how to replace it. Easy. <laughs> okay, when you are unsatisfied with the quality cut, that's when you replace your splinter guard. Makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I was taught in the proper way. Okay. And some of the pitfall, pit, pitfalls that people go into where they don't, it, it's common sense. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, so I pulled the old splinter guard off. Okay, no problem. Some people say, hey, what do you clean that with? I don't clean it usually. Um, I used to, but it seemed like I didn't get good uh, adherence. Is that adhesion? the right word? It, it, he, I learned. Adhesion. Yeah, oh, adhesion. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's the right point. Hey. Okay. So here's the splint again. And this is just a, a small piece. I usually get the 5,000 lengths and cut them close to where I'm going to be. Okay. Okay. So when you put this on, I'm going to peel this little piece right here, just like that. See how that comes off? Now, when I stick this on, okay, and I'm going to have you do most of the work here. But when you stick it on here, right, it goes up against this okay. little aluminum piece. Now, what I have seen people do is take this and to re not replace it completely like I am here, but they move it forward like this and recut it. Oof. But no, it works. Oh. But it does move on them ever so slightly. Oh, okay. Okay, so I tell everybody, just put a new splint again on. You don't need to replace these every other week. You know, it's only when you're unsatisfied with the quality cut. In other words, you're not getting a perfect splinter free. Okay, so you see how I'm putting this on, right? Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna have you do it. Okay, and come right close to the end. All right. I'm gonna show you how to cut it. Good? Yeah. Just tack it on. Just put it on there, get it good. So I'm gonna show you how to roll it. Okay. And that's the one thing that everybody makes a mistake on. That's how they roll it? If they don't. Oh. And I'll show you. Okay, so you're gonna bring it right here. Okay. Okay, good. Now, here's one mistake that I've seen people make. They cut it perfectly even here. That's a no-no. Oh, okay. Okay, so you cut it, like I give it about two or three meters proud of, just like that. See how that's short right there? And then you can take this, and I actually save this stuff because sometimes I have a bunch of small pieces like this, and you can put one here and then continue with it. No okay. problem. Okay, cool. so let's get rid of that. Now, there's a reason I don't put it to the very end. Why is that? What if it was sticking proud of that and you go like this? It's going to peel away. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, now, here's the fun pack. See how I started this? And see how that's starting to come up a little? Mm -hmm. It's because I put it on like this, I put it on like this, and then you started going like this. Okay, guess what? That's only sticking there, 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 and there. What you need to do is spread the adhesion out. Okay, it's kind of like when you put a Formica top on, you roll it in, yep. you're spreading the adhesion, okay? So, I like to use a domino. You can use a round over piece of wood. And what I'll do is I'll start in the middle and just go like this. See that? Nice. Just like that. And then I'll come back and I'm gonna have you start here and go that way with it. Okay. Yep. Yep. Make sure you have that good sound effect. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help What it. was that? I'm a spaceman. Okay. Okay, now, we did it the first time. And then I push it in a little like this from yeah. that end. Okay, and just go back and forth. And you do that one. Put a little bit of pressure on there. There you go. Yep, but always go to the end. Make sure that that's tacked up. Now, in humid weather, which we have here in Indiana, this here 
sometimes will come up just a little. But right now, it's, uh, it's the fall. I mean, that'll stay on there. And what we'll do is we set it, and I think we've done it in a video before where I show you how to cut that perfectly. Yep. Okay, so you get that perfect splinter-free cut. Now, in the summertime, I'll go back to what I was just saying, sometimes that does curl up a little. What I do is I take a little 2P10 or any CA glue, and I put a little dab right here underneath it doesn't hurt the guide rail at all okay. and i just hold it on there and you're good to go this stuff is wicked cool all right so as we say at the end of all videos <laughs> be positive stay shy <laughs>